Hi there people. Uh, my name is Debbie Bryant and I'm making this video in regards to people who lose their pets like their little dogs or whatever. Um, okay my neighbor who lives down the street from me he lost his little little uh, teacup chihuahua on February the 2nd you know and um, I don't know somehow she got out of the yard but somebody here from Tahunga picked her up and took her to uh, Van Nuys and somehow I guess she got out of their car but she was found and taken into East Valley Animal Shelter okay well I, I put an ad on Craigslist under lost and found and also under pets um, you know saying describing her saying that she got out got out on uh, February the 7th 2012 and you know along with her description a picture of her even and uh, you know we would have never known that she was all the way over there in Van Nuys um, so what happened um, a, a gal that had been at the East Valley Animal Shelter she uh, she went in there looking to adopt a little chihuahua and she she seen this one and fell in love he she turned out to be in, in there okay but then she she didn't find what she wanted to adopt the one she wanted to adopt couldn't be adopted yet because it was lost so she went home and went um, on Craigslist and was looking under lost and found or or or, or under pets where I, I put one ad there too with her picture and she seen my ad and immediately she called me and she told me that she was calling because of my ad on Craigslist, which is online, um, that she seen a little dog that looked just like her and she was almost pretty sure that was her, the, the, my neighbor's dog. So, um, so immediately I called the owner on his cell phone and he was just getting off of work at that time and, and fortunately he was close by the animal shelter so he, so he swung by there. He was happy, you know. Uh, so he swung by there in hopes that that was his little dog and sure enough when when he went in there they had her in the lobby you know in the lobby uh, in a cage and she was just so excited to see him she was jumping up and down and everything and wagging her tail and just you know crying she was so happy to see him but unfortunately all he had was just a, a small tiny little picture of her on his cell phone okay well they said that's not enough you know we need to see more pictures okay well see this man my neighbor that I he's been my neighbor for nine ten years and I walk my dogs past their house all the time okay and you know she's a cute little thing and she always has her head sticking out right through the through the uh, chain link fence that's how tiny her head is okay she's a very small dog so anyway she you know he, so anyway they wouldn't let her let him take her home so he had to he had to get more proof and I think that really sucks but I can understand it so anyway he went home and he and he found uh, he did find a pic uh, a picture of her when when she was just a little tiny you know little baby or whatever so he found that and that's all so the picture that he had of her uh, on his cell phone the one that they said wasn't good enough well I had him to email it to me and and I I went on photo book it and I cropped it you know because she just looks like a tiny little candy bar on a big sidewalk and so yeah she looked tiny so I cropped it and just made it so it's her right and then I enlarged it and I printed it out okay and then she came out big and then you could see for sure this this is the dog that's, that's my dog he could say like that so anyway we you know I printed it up and I gave that to him I told him you take that in there when you go in you know the next day um, so and, and he did and in fact he asked me to go along with him as proof you know because I'm a neighbor I walk past their house every day walking my dog my two little chihuahuas and you know my my little boy chihuahua always likes, always likes to you know go and greet the other chihuahua he has her name is Zuma so I you know because him and her had little puppies together many many years ago so anyway um 
so, and he asked me to go with him, so I did, but he didn't really need me after all because once I, you know, cropped that picture and enlarged it, then they could see that that's really this bug, you know, that they had in there. Um, you know, it's just, and I'm, I'm here to let you people know it's very, very important that always take lots of pictures of your, your animals, okay, please. Um, because, you know, here's, they, she was brought in on the 11th, okay, and, and when I called, they said, uh, they, they, you know, if they don't find her owner by the 11th, she would be adopted out, you know, and so here the owner comes forward, you know, and he claims her, and they ought to see that she's happy to see her daddy, right, so, you know, I mean, he almost couldn't get her out. Because that's the only picture he had, that, and, and a little baby picture that, but he didn't bring that one until the next day. But, you know, because we enlarged the photo and everything, then that was good enough for them. So they finally uh, took her out of her cage, and he had to pay a enormous, enormous uh, payment. Because, okay, if he would have had to pay over two hundred and something dollars because if your if your dog is not spayed or neutered then they're going to charge you they're going to tell you okay your your dog's not fixed so you need a, a breeder's permit which is uh, two hundred dollars right there alone okay well he's he don't breed his he don't have no intention on breeding his dog my god so anyway so then they more or less made, made him uh, decide to have her spayed because it would be cheaper to get her out so so he decided okay have her spayed and and what's really good is also they microchipped her so he's he, he you know I'm sure they spayed her yesterday um, yesterday on the 10th so okay so this morning sometime this morning he gets to go and pick her up finally but I just want to let you people know out there he almost didn't get his dog back just because he didn't have any pictures of her just one and it was so tiny it wasn't good enough for them so therefore they would have adopted her out on uh, today on Saturday this is Saturday February the 11th okay you know and I think I think that really sucks you know I mean but anyway I'm just letting you people know out there please if, I mean I'm not I'm not one of those people that you know I'm uh, like a I'm not a I'm not a rescuer or nothing like that I'm not one that's into having my dogs spayed or neutered because I mean my my little dogs are indoor dogs and you know I I don't plan on spay uh, I don't plan on breeding them ever that's stupid but anyway just to let you know you know you if you lose a pet always always search at the animal control because we would have never known she was all the way in Van Nuys gosh we live here in Tahunga on Greeley Street okay she got out and somehow someone up here seen her on the sidewalk walking somewhere and they picked her up and took her they were gonna take her anyway they ended up in Van Nuys and I don't know what happened or she must have escaped from their car or whatever, but the, she was found there in Van Nuys on um, Sepulveda Boulevard and some other street, okay? And see, we would have never thought to go to, to look at the pound or go on the website to look for lost animals. We would have, we weren't going to do that. We were, you know, thinking, okay, she's here somewhere in Tahunga. So we were putting up flyers all over the telephone poles up here with her picture on it, you know? And thank God, you know, this girl that went in there to adopt a, a dog, and she seen that dog, and then when she seen my ad on Craigslist, thank God for her call, because if she would would not have called, we would have never found, we would have never found Fiona. That's her name, Fiona. Okay? And, and we, we surely never would expect to be clear all the way in a bound eyes. My God. That's far from here. So anyway, I, I want to let you people know, you know, if your dog ends up missing, you know, gets lost or stolen or whatever, always check the animal shelter that, that covers your area. Like for us, East Valley uh, Animal Shelter is where, that's our animal shelter. So that's where we would look. 
but thank God, you know, my neighbor found his dog, and he gets to go and pick her up today. Yay! I'm so happy, because I'm an animal lover. I really am, and, and a lot of times I go on Craigslist, and I try to find lost dogs, and then, then, then when I see an ad for a lost dog, I, I look under found ads on there to see if someone found a dog matching that dog and I always try to reunite uh, you know them together I mean God it would kill me if my dog got 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 lost like that I would I would be crying my eyes out and I'm a strong tough gal <laughs> but you know just here to let you know please always take lots of pictures of your pet you know or pets so that way you'll have proof if you go into an animal shelter looking for her or him say here this is pictures of, of, of that dog right there that's my dog this is proof but also get a microchip <laughs> see I never knew about all this stuff before but now I know how important that is because microchip shoot they, they don't know right away that's your dog all they have to do is scan it and you won't get a bunch of hassle about oh uh, we need a lot of pictures because, uh, you know, we need a lot of proof. pictures, vaccination records, and all that. You know, it's just, it's, it's a lot of trouble, and it really stressed this family out, you know, my neighbors um, over there. So, anyway, that's just a heads up, and, and that's it. And this is Debbie signing off. Ciao.